the first tip on using ChatGPT AI for your business website is to use it as title idea generator for blog posts, for example. So let's say I have written this article here and I have this beginning. So this is like the intro. I can copy it and come here in ChatGPT and I'll paste it here. But before that, I just write this text in front of it. So that way it knows what to do. So you see, write catchy and emotional uh, article titles for a blog post based on this intro, and then the intro comes below it. So if I click on the go button, you can see it starts generating the ideas and it takes about 20 seconds. And now you have five ideas to work with. You could also ask it to do more of these. And if you need to tweak them, you can ask the AI to do differently. So for example, instead of catchy and emotional, you could do clickbaity and casual. So it's really up to you how you wanna, uh, how do you wanna tell the AI to work? And it would give you slightly different results. Then you can take one of the titles and ask ChatGPT to create an intro based on that title. So let me show you what I mean. So you just, let's say we like this title, Create article intro in casual writing. For this title, unleash your creativity, the best logo design website for 2021. And you see it generated just a full on intro for that specific text. Now, obviously I would have to go and change this a little bit to make it my own, but it's just crazy how many ideas you can generate from this. <laughs> Learn to them people, my name is Robert. Just in case you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's a computer program that can understand and respond to human language. And basically it can answer your questions, generate ideas, and even write stories. It's similar to like Siri or Alexa, but on like a lots of steroids. And you can unlock its power for your business website, no matter if you are on WordPress, Shopify, or any other platform. And I think the tips I will share in this video will save you at least four hours per week on your website related tasks. The second tip is to use ChatGPT as an SEO research tool and keyword generator. As an example, I'll use website about winter hiking equipment. So I have here a text I already prepared, so I can ask it, hey, create 10 keywords ideal for a website about winter hiking equipment. And it's now generating the keywords. Okay, and now you have 10 keywords just like that. Now, they're a bit too generic, so let's uh, take a look if we can get a bit more semantically relevant keywords. Uh, for example, uh, I have a text here, and I like this gloves and hand warmers, so generate a list of semantically relevant keywords based on gloves and hand warmers. So let's search for that. And you can see it just generated 20 relevant keywords to the hand warmers. It's just insane. I could now go and create the blog my, uh, post myself, or we can take it a step further and we can say to it, hey, actually just create the structure for us, create the blog, uh, uh, blog post for us. So let's see what it can do with this. Okay, I think it would take me less time to write it myself, though. You see, this took a bit longer. It's actually quite long text that it created. This is just the structure for the blog post. Now, in my opinion, maybe I took a bit too broad topic for this. So maybe I would just go and say, okay, can you create the structure for a blog post about hand warmers? And then it would be a bit better. We could now say, hey, we actually want also the six most relevant FAQs for this type of, type of a question. So this category of products. So let's do that. We can scroll down and put in and ask the question. And you can see it just generates six FAQs for us. We could now go on and uh, answer these questions or even ask it to answer it. And then we would need to go and edit this uh, and make it our own because you don't want to just take what ChatGPT uh, outputs and put it on your site. No, you want to make it your own. You just get the ideas from here and it's a very good tool for research. Obviously, you could also ask ChatGPT to write the article based on each of the subheadings, but you need to be really careful with this because of Google. What does Google actually think of AI generated content? They must be aware of this and maybe even worried. Click on this video banner to find out more about this topic because I go in depth there. The third tip is to use AI to generate persuasive copy for your ads, for example, for Facebook or Google. Let's say we are an iPhone repair shop in Amsterdam. I'm gonna tell that to ChatGPT. And then I'll just add the, the function I wanted to do. So the prompt I wanted to execute. 
So in this case, write six persuasive Google ad copy and descriptions about broken iPhone screens in Amsterdam. Use no more than 140 characters. So you can see I can even limit the character amount it uh, produces. So let's try that. Let's see what it does. And there you go. You've got uh, pretty cool examples here. Broken iPhone screen, question mark. We fix it fast in Amsterdam. Very persuasive, if you ask me. So you can just take the best options and create Google ads based on them. And if you're amazed by what ChatGPT can do, give this video a like so I know that you agree. This is just mind blowing. The fourth tip is to analyze your competition. For example, if you have solar panel installation service, you could see Google reviews of your competition or use your own uh, reviews if you have a lot of uh, them and grab the positive reviews. So let me show you what I mean. Here's a nice competitors of ours. They have good reviews. So I want to know what are they doing so well. So I'm just coming here and I'm going to sort by more highest rating. So that way I get only the best ones. And now I can just open a few of them like this so that I have the whole review. And you can't take too many because, yeah, uh, there's a certain amount of characters you can uh, insert here in, into ChatGPT. So I'm just going to grab like five or six of these like this. Okay, awesome. I'm going to just copy all of this and I'm going to go to, into my uh, text editor tool. And I can now place it here because we need to clean it up a little bit. Uh, so, for example, we don't want all of this, like how many reviews. We just want the text itself. So I already did that. I cleaned it up. And now I can copy all of this, all the reviews, go back to, uh, to ChatGPT and place all the text here. And I'm going to just scroll up here. And now I can actually ask the prompt. So in this case, I'm going to say, give me the top five reasons why people like this solar panel company based on below reviews. So now I can just summarize in five reasons. I gave it now that as an input. So let's see what it will tell us. And there you go. It just summarized everything in five uh, bullet points. You could use this summary to adjust and improve your own services or just find new opportunities or use these powerful benefits on your own website or landing page. So you could say, OK, we provide excellent communication throughout the installation process without surprises. But you could use that uh, language also on your landing pages to convince people to sign up with you or to uh, get those leads coming in. And remember, this can work with reviews, but also with comments, surveys or any type of information that you need to just summarize. Because knowing what works and what doesn't for others can help you to differentiate and make your website better. And by the way, this is something I also stress in my private coaching sessions that I provide. Whether you are feeling stuck or just want help with your website, I'm here to help to generate more leads or more website visitors. Just go to this URL or uh, click on the first link in the description. You can get there. Fifth tip is to use ChatGPT as your personal storytelling assistant. Personally, I'm pretty bad with writing stories. That's why I make website tutorial videos. But we as humans are drawn to stories. This means you could turn your boring about us page into vibrant story by asking the AI to do it for you. Obviously, you can't lie, but you can make your story more interesting. Or maybe just spice up some of your articles with famous stories. Let's say we need an inspirational story about a famous person who had extremely good eye for detail. So I'll just type that in into ChatGPT. You can see it just generated an inspiration story about Walt Disney and his hardships. You can also use ChatGPT to make your boring statement into a story or metaphor. This will make your text so much more interesting and powerful. But keep in mind, you have less than a half a second to leave a first impression on your website visitor. That's why your images have to look amazing. With an AI called DALI, you can generate images from text. Watch my full tutorial right here.